Welcome to Teacher Read Aloud, Lesson 7. So when re good readers read aloud, they match the expression in their voices to what the text is saying. So pay attention as I do that. Lewis Braille, boy inventor. A tragic accident. Lewis Braille was born more than 200 years ago in a small French village. He was a bright, lively boy who loved to watch his father make saddles and harnesses in his shop. One day, when Lewis was three years old, he picked up one of his father's tools and accidentally poked himself in the eye. The wound became infected and spread to his other eye. By the time Lewis was four, just as he was learning to make sketches and to write letters instead of scribbles, he was blind. A good idea. At the time of Lewis's accident, most people believed that the blind could never learn to read. Lewis's parents did some research and discovered the Royal Institute for Blind Youth in Paris. When Lewis enrolled in his new school, he found a few books that were written for the blind. The letters in the books were printed with extra heavy ink. To read, people ran their fingers across the text. People could feel the textures of the letters with their fingers. The books were very heavy though, and it took a long time to read them. After reading every book in the Institute's library, Lewis began to imagine ways to make better books. Easy reading. One day, Lewis heard about a code made of dots and dashes punched in paper that the army used. The codes helped soldiers read instructions without lighting a fire that might attract the enemy. Raised dots and dashes made the books lighter and easier to read, but not enough for Lewis. He set about inventing a system using only dots to make reading even easier. When Lewis began poking dots in paper with a knitting needle to illustrate his ideas, he noticed that thin paper, such as tracing paper, was too thin to be used on both sides. By the age of 15, Lewis had invented a six-dot system that took little space and could be read more quickly. The Braille System When Lewis introduced his invention at his school, none of the teachers would use it. Gradually, news of Lewis's invention spread among the blind community. Fifteen years after Lewis died, his invention was used in almost every country. Today, his invention is called Braille in his honor.